Hello, welcome back to another Venice Family Clinic training video. Today we're going to talk about how to find, add, delete, and resolve allergies in NextGen. So there are three ways to find allergies of a patient. So one way is to simply hover over the allergies icon or button up above in the patient's chart. The other one is to go to the intake template and scroll down to the allergies section and you should see it here. And a third way to actually look at the list of allergies is to actually go to the allergies icon. So as you can see, and this would actually give you the entire allergy history of the patient, uh, including allergies that have been already resolved or um, that they had as a child or something along those lines. So as you can see, the list here is very extensive compared to what they have up here, okay? So to add an allergy, basically there are two ways to do it. You know, there's the add, which gives you already a pre-selected list of common medications that can cause an allergy. So for example, let's say that um, niacin causes acne breakout on a patient. So you will select it like that and you will save and close. And that added a new allergy to the patient. So if you were to scroll in the allergy section, you would see it that it's right here. Another way to add an allergy would be through the update button or again through the allergy icon. So we hit update, we get the same screen as the icon. And here it is for very specific allergens that you want to add. Let's say that the patient is allergic to raspberries. So as you can see, I'm typing raspberry and you can actually select what they're allergic to. So I'm just gonna select raspberry as the base ingredient. And here is, here is it listed. The other thing you can do is if you know what kind of reactions the patient gets, you click add and then this screen will pop up. So let's say that she gets contact dermatitis around her face or fingers, or and it's a moderate. When you add it and you okay it, it is gonna now appear here. If this is all that happens and you don't need to add any other reactions, you hit add. What happens now is if you go back to the allergies and you look for raspberry, see it shows here that reaction that the patient has. Now let's say that you actually want to delete an allergy. So that same one that we entered today, that niacin, you're like, I don't think this one uh, needs to be entered. So you can just select it and delete it, okay? Now I'm just gonna show you a comparison to this one that was previously entered in September. And as you can see, the delete button is not highlighted. This is because you cannot delete an allergy on an encounter such as today's, which is February 21st. If you want to delete the orange juice allergy, you have to go to the September 19th, 2017 encounter and unlock it in order for you to be able to delete it. That is, for example, um, there are some times when a patient might mention that they have never had an allergy to orange juice. That will be an app, like an example of, of a situation that will require you to go to the September 19th encounter in order to delete that particular allergy. So we're gonna delete niacin from the list and you will see this number update. See, it went from 14 to 13. Now, let's say that a allergy has resolved in a patient and they no longer get that reaction that they used to get. So you, let's say the penicillin. The penicillin has now resolved and patients state that they no long, they're no longer allergic to penicillin. What you can do now would be select the penicillin and then you would enter or click on the magnifying glass for entering a resolved date. And so we're gonna say it resolved on February 21st. And you update. When you update, you will see that the allergies list went down to 12 now from 13. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy it.